Today I'm going to be comparing the Gillette Labs heated razor to the Gillette Fusion 5 power razor. This one's just got really strong vibration to make the blades vibrate with the AAA battery. This one, uh, you can see the bar on here shows that it's heating or heated and it just has a little bar right here that heats up, tries to open up your pores as you're shaving. So I'll go ahead and start with the heated razor first. I'm still gonna heat it, rinse it under hot water just to keep the blades and the bar hot at the same time. Just give it a fighting chance because I don't see how you can beat the uh, Gillette power razors, five blade power razors. They make a Pro Glad power razor and a Fusion 5 power razor. I haven't tried the, uh, any of the other ones. So here we go. With this, that bar is below the blades, so you just want to go kind of slow and let that bar do the work. I'll just try to push against my skin with that bar so that it heats it up as it goes. Really comfortable, pain free shave so far. I must say it's a little time consuming, but if you want a comfortable shave, it's well worth it. really feel that bar heating up the skin as you go and opening up those pores to let the hair come out easier. Actually going fairly quick. Now I shave with the grain and then go against the grain. Well, I'm just not feeling the blades at all on my neck. Didn't really close shave with that heat bar. have to re uh, resist the temptation to go fast with this heated razor and remember to push with the blade. Just getting a really close shave. It's definitely as good as it gets. So. It's almost like you're trying to shave with that heated bar and then the blades follow. I can kind of feel it even if I go over it a little bit quick, that bar's still heating up my skin and then letting the blades follow through and do all the cleanup. Mm. There you go, that's as good as it gets. With the shave, uh, it's pretty pricey, but it's definitely worth it if you want a comfortable shave. But, uh, go ahead and go with the power razor now. I'm just trying to get some hot water on those blades. Really like this new Fusion 5 because the vibration is so strong. And, uh, this is the same concept, except you're going slow to let the vibrating blades do the work instead of the heat. Definitely does better as long as you keep those blades rinsed out. But uh, definitely a little bit more pain than the heated region so far. Really like the way that heated region feels. But it is pretty expensive. I think that one I have is $160. But it is rechargeable, so.
And again, with this razor also, it's hard to resist the temptation to go too fast. You know, let the blades do all the work. I mean, now let the vibrating waves do all the work. Okay, well there you have it, it's as good as it gets for a comfortable close shave with both of these, but I do surprisingly have to give the edge to the Gillette Labs heated razor. That heated bar just really opens up those pores on your skin as you go and just really releases those hairs way easier. It's just the most comfortable shave I've ever had, but you are going to have to pay a price for it. It is a little bit pricey, so there you go. Winner, 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 Gillette Labs heated razor.